On his TV show, Jimmy Neutron lives in Retroville. His genius gadgets will get him anywhere in the galaxy he wants to go. But what you might call Jimmy's heritage is more earthly and a lot less colorful than Retroville. It's inside this Las Colinas office that everything... Everything in 3D actually has to be constructed like a, like a model. Everyone... This shows just some uh, <laughs> very gross uh, adjustments to Jimmy. And every part of everyone... <laughs> this is the inside of Carl's stomach. <laughs> is created. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was yeah. nice, nice white ulcers. Ulcers. Inside DNA Productions, you won't find a conventional office, but everyone is busy with people working on episodes of the successful TV show, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. But as the founders can remember, it hasn't always been like this. Keith and I lost our jobs. We decided, oh, what, what can we do? Well, we'll start a business. So that's how we started DNA. <laughs> that was 1987. We had no idea how to start a business. We would uh, hit the uh, yellow pages and uh, white pages and just go through the phone books and just cold call people and say, Hey, you want a cartoon? <laughs> they got a few bites that way. Local commercials led to regional commercials, and DNA Productions was off and running. The place where kids get to pick. But while they were animating other people's characters, Bill Davis's brain was brewing an idea. A character that uh, enabled me to sort of live out some of my childhood fantasies and uh, you know, things that I thought would be cool to do when I was a kid. Whoa! That was not Jimmy Neutron, but Johnny Quasar. Hi, I'm Johnny Quasar. This is my robot dog, Goddard. They began to try to sell their idea. The first place he tried to sell it, bought it. That was Nickelodeon. But the network did not want just a TV show. It wanted more. How far could the little guy go? Johnny Quasar evolved into Jimmy Neutron hit the big screen. Ready to admit your invention's a flop yet, Neutron? Far from a flop, the flick snagged an Oscar nomination. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Then Nick ordered episodes of a TV show. Looks like a smooth ride now. That presented some challenges. On the feature, you've got um, about a year to do 80 minutes. And on the series, you've got a year to do about seven hours on TV budget. <laughs> Is it gonna hurt? No. The people at DNA try to keep it pain free, but it is a lot of work, all using cutting edge technology. That's really cool. What is that? Uh, this thing, something throws water on him and he gets electrocuted. Ah, oh, right. It's always fun to electrocute Goddard. Stories like that one start with a traditional storyboard. An artist takes pen to paper. What are you doing? From crude drawing, it goes into the computer. The characters, this is a headless character at the moment, uh, they actually have bones, like a little skeletal system that's embedded in them, and when the bones are moved, they deform the geometry so that the character can bend and, and actually be positioned and posed. From there, it goes to layout. Just to give a, uh, a sense of what's going to be happening with the characters walking across the screens. What are you doing? Now from layout, the scenes that come over here, and uh, the animators would grab onto the characters. What are you doing? It's just like having a movie studio inside the computer. I mean, you actually position your camera and you position your lights, and uh, everything reacts just like it would in, in uh, the real world. What are you doing? And there you go. So then the only thing that's left to add would be uh, music, sound effects, and final mix, and you have a show. Voila! Boosted by their computers, their imaginations can go anywhere. Um, and that's, that's the fun part of it, is that uh, pretty much anything you can think of, you can, you can do. Like never before seen footage. But for characters, what they think of is usually right around them. <laughs> Recognize this guy? Watch for DNA co-owner John Davis to make it into an upcoming show. He'll be walking around in the background or... Uh... Never know, he might pop up as a character. It's, it's fun creating these little worlds and populating them with characters and, and telling, these, uh, telling these stories. And there are more people bringing more ideas into the shop. We're going to have about 80 or 90 here uh, because they're wanting episodes faster and faster, so we're adding more and more people. 
They'll have more projects to juggle, as work begins soon on the sequel to the Jimmy Neutron feature film. It's been a long trip from suburban Dallas to Retroville, but even Jimmy would agree, it's been a blast. A blast. Thomas Gandy for About Town.